everybody my name is Edward James Hubbard I am an advocate for IamBullyFree.org sorry I'm smoking there's been a little bit of shot and everything I apologize to a lot of people for that uh, the reason for this video is I wanted to talk to a lot of people about the cyberbullying and bullying you know a lot of people don't understand or really just don't care that much about how serious it was is recently i went up on youtube to do a social media experience and when i did this social media experience i've been not only been bullied did the bullying and i did the cyberbullying at the same time I, I got bullied right back and it was 10 times harder and when it was 10 times harder it was like wow and i'm talking about whoa like it's still going on like there's still people cyberbullying me still running their mouths still attacking me on up on youtube and everything Oh, Joey, you asked me how do I go live on it uh, here uh, for Facebook. You sit there and you go down where you post and it'll have a little screen and it'll sit there and say live or not. And, and that's how you go live. Okay, bro. Just figured to let you know. Happy late birthday. I wished you a happy birthday yesterday. I didn't know if you saw it or not, but happy birthday. I've been working on YouTube lately uh about the cyberbullying and how it's been doing and everything but it takes you on emotional effect it hurts you really bad it makes you feel like you're nobody especially when they're calling the laws <laughs> i mean this dude literally called dunbar police and dunbar police showed up today at the house sorry after he showed up at the after the Dunbar police showed up at the house and I just sit there and I even told the Dunbar police that I was just doing it for social media experience he understood he said he'll text his other fellow officers and let them know about everything uh, but now the youtubers are sitting there calling the law and <laughs> said and they think it's funny these are young kids that are post to not be on channels like this or anything or not being watched <laughs> I'm not understanding why YouTube channels aren't being moderated the way they should be moderated they need to be moderated a lot more and these young people need to be watched what they're doing and my honest opinion I don't think it's right how they sit there and can talk to adults and everything. I don't think they should even be on that kind of part with the YouTube or anything. Sorry, I am smoking. Sorry about that, everybody. I know I shouldn't be doing this or anything, but it's life. That's the way I see it. Um when they uh been attacking me and everything it's just showing how ignorant and how bad cyberbullying really is it doesn't matter you know if if that person is up on youtube just trying to make a career they should be able to make a career about it and stuff they should be able to have fun doing what they're doing right now like you know how I'm sitting there talking to y'all and everything and stuff but that should be allowed and stuff but no they don't want people to be up on YouTube or anything because they don't want the people to sit there and make the money or anything that's why they don't want anybody to be up on YouTube or anything so you know I've been noticing two four four five and then my little brother inboxed me sorry joey i didn't reply right away but if you see me it is officially live and everything you can hit me up in an inbox show and i'll reply to you okay um bud collier is one of the greatest mentors ever 
he's teached me a lot of things to realize and you know a lot of people need to check out iambullyfree.org this guy really does help out a lot of kids and he puts his effort out in a lot and that's why I wanted to see how bad cyberbullying really is for myself and when I went to check it out for myself y'all cyberbullying is getting bad I mean it doesn't matter what these guys do they think they're in the right and sitting there picking and calling people names and on forth they, they think they're okay to make fun of that person and everything and put them down and it's not cool at all we need to speak up y'all especially on cyberbullying the state of west virginia has no cyberbullying laws at all the state of texas has no cyberbullying at all north dakota has no cyberbullying laws at all none of these states that i just mentioned have no cyberbullying laws at all cyberbullying should be a federal offense just like bullying should be a federal offense are they doing it as a federal offense no there has been certain reports that it has been proved it has been certain reports that has proven that the schools are not going by the policies they aren't doing it the right way or anything at all they are breaking the rules 100 percent these schools do not give a damn about our kids out there at all and it's a damn shame that these schools do not care about the kids or anything because now a days it's getting bad these kids don't care or anything they don't care who they hurt or anything and these kids you know our old ways we got our asses whipped i mean sorry for my friends and everything but literally we all got our ass whipped if we were out of hand or anything and stuff by our parents it's either been breadboard our branch or something but these kids get out of so hand that you know none of the parents want to do it thing because they will get for child abuse and everything and that's pretty bad it, it, if a parent whoops their kids ass they're going to get in uh, accused of child abuse or something like that and, but these kids are going to go ahead and hurt some other kid how fair is that then you got these kids that are running their damn mouse up on internet, think they're all that, that in a bag of chips, and they ain't. And what if they were literally a cat up online? What if they sit there, there and these kids sit there and run their mouth to the wrong person up online, and that uh, somebody went to their house and beat the living hell out of that kid? Then what? Not a damn thing. Then, then huh? These, uh, these cyber bullies are, it's bad. Cyberbullying is really bad. And, you know, everybody needs to sit there and speak up. And nobody wants to speak up about cyberbullying. Nobody wants to speak up about bullying. And the nonprofits the organizations that we got, they speak up only certain times and everything. So they don't get in trouble or anything. Hey, because they don't want to get the bad lawsuit or anything and stuff you know but honestly we as an american people need to start standing up for our kids instead of letting this shit keep on going the state of west virginia no cyberbullying laws the state of texas no cyberbullying law north dakota south dakota california hawaii and alabama and a few other no cyberbullying at all laws and what hurts is not one damn person really gives a damn and that's bad bad because if you state representatives really gave a damn what kind of laws we had cyberbullying would have already been affected and everything and also the damn bullying laws would have been going through and everything you guys would be pursuing the so so bullying laws 100 percent. you wouldn't be keeping your mouth shut you guys would sit there and open your mouth and say that's enough we need to do, make it stronger or we need to go bye by it and do something about it instead of sitting there saying not doing a damn thing about these cyber bullies or bullies and said this is crazy y'all i don't understand why the government don't give a damn about the bully laws or why they don't give a damn about the uh cyber bullying laws oh wait i do i do understand 100 percent because they just don't give a damn no more all they care about is the money in their pocket and that's it i mean shit it, it's just no offense or anything sometimes i feel 
like given up on even speaking about bullying or anything like that but honestly Lee, the only reason I do speak the way I speak because I've been through it I know what it's like hell I'm going through with the cyberbullying part right now because I did a social media experience and I should have never done it but I knew what I was doing and there was a reason and the cyberbullying it's bad y'all these are kids getting up on there telling grown ass people what to do and everything hey, or younger people who think they could do whatever they want to do y'all we need to speak up about this shit because what's going to happen you're going to see the suicide keep on uh, adding up going a deeper and a not a damn thing because nobody would open up their mouths about the bullying laws or anything or nobody opened their mouths about the cyber bullies and said what if what if you all got a phone call about a, a daughter a close friend of yours or a niece would pass away because they've been bullied too bad how would you act or been cyberbullied way too bad. How would you act on it? You wouldn't know what to do or anything, would you? You wouldn't know how to handle anything, would you? See, a lot of people think I'm stupid the way I talk, but I know a lot of things and I've been through it. I've done it. I've known a lot. This week, I'm going to show all my Facebook friends. This Saturday, I'm going to show all my Facebook friends live at the men's shelter where I was at and everything when I was uh, in my 20s. Then I'm going to show them through Charleston what I have to go through each and every day, even to get to work or go, get to house uh, and stuff. Uh, I show them where I used to eat at uh, just to survive for a little while uh, and everything. I'm going to... Uh, basically do it live around here and everything then when i do get a chance i'm going to go up to willing west virginia up in near my hometown up near where my mom and dad's house used to be and i'm going to show that that place and everything and i'm going to show that little area where i grew up and i'm going to do it all live um in some ways i'm glad the stuff that happened to me happened to me because it bettered my life it made me a stronger person now from what I am and willing to help out the others uh, that's the only thing I could say hey because you know bad things happen to people it's not worth ending your life people put you down screw it just walk away and everything don't pay attention to them or anything but on a serious note on the cyberbullying laws everybody we need to speak up we need to open our mouths because if we don't open our mouths at all it's going to get worse and suicide's going to keep on going up and going up and because of these cyber bullies they're getting people's telephone numbers blasting it address blasting it everything everybody my name is edward james hubbard um Please check out Bud Collier at IamBullyFree.org. He's a great guy. Um, he d works his ass off on, on helping out the kids. Kids. He knows what he's talking about. He does what he, he does because he loves helping out the kids. Also, everybody, my buddy Evan, uh, I can't say his last name that well, uh, but my buddy Evan's in a hospital. If you all can sit there and say a prayer to get better it'll be greatly appreciated thank you very much um everybody